Hayward Douglas says it's nice to be able to walk in a park these days without being armed. A few years ago, he was a prominent member of the Oak Park Blood street gang. Eventually, he was marked for death by a rival. Then one day, there was a showdown. He had the rival in the sight of his gun. In a split second, he had to make one of the toughest decisions of his 17-year-old life. When you had that guy in the sights of your gun, and you knew that you could pull that trigger and take his life, what was going through your mind? Hmm. Actually, it was kind of like blank. I mean, it was kind of like I was going to do it, but then there was a point that I didn't want to do it because he was so close in my range, you know, that I, I realized I could have killed him. But Did you miss him on purpose? Somewhat. Somewhat. I, I missed him on purpose because I, you know, I knew I could have killed him because I really didn't want to kill him. I don't know if you ever Hayward did two and a half years of a seven-year sentence for the shooting. Now at age 20, he's trying to put his life back together. And I saw the funerals and I seen all of my friends and, you know, my friend that, you know, passed away. You know, I began to think, you know, that could have been me. You know? And so there, I don't want to throw away what I have, you know, because I'm so young. I want to live. That's when I really got to realizing that I wasn't ready to die. And I knew if I was to continue being involved in these activities, is that it only leads to death or prison. Hayward Douglas says his gang days are now behind him, and he offers advice for those who would like to live that lifestyle. Well, actually, the best thing that I could tell them is to slow down, take some time, and to think about what they're doing, I mean, because life is real precious. And you don't want to throw it away over a 99 cent rag or a color. That's really, it doesn't really mean anything.